G'day. Given the right experiences, children can get very good at doubling and halving. Uh, I want to show you this method of multiplying, which is not doubling and halving, it's purely just doubling. And it goes back to ancient Egypt. So suppose you want to multiply 26 by 17, and I deliberately chose messy numbers, which is no real nice strategy, immediately obvious to me at least. And I wouldn't be doubling and, and halving those particular numbers because I don't think the end result is going to make it any easier. So what the ancient Egyptians would do is take one of the, the factors, multiply it by one, I'm going to take 17, and then keep doubling, and keep doubling, and again, and again. And you stop doubling, when you analyze what you've got here, I've got 1 17, 2 17s are 34, 4 17s are 68, 8 17s are 16 17s are. How many 17s am I after? I'm after 26 17s. So what the ancient Egyptians would do is look at their list and say, what do I need to add here to find 26 17s? 16 and 8 is 24. So I'm gonna to have to add that and that to get 24 17s and I need two more. So it's a very nice simple uh, approach. Unfortunately the ancient Egyptians had a very simple additive uh, number system so it was a little complex with their enumeration system or number system I should say. Uh, it, this is quite easy with uh, Hindu Arabic numbers. Thanks.